interesting day. It's actually four o'clock right now. The market just closed. So I'll just talk about some stuff, some updates, some things I'm thinking about. But yeah, basically, I think the market had a pretty important day. We're on this, grinding up this trend line, you know. Uh, you can see all these kind of wicks right here bouncing. So today it actually fell, touched it, fell below for a little bit, but then shot back up. And I mean, in the m morning of the, or at least in the beginning of the day, I was kind of watching the market the entire day. So in the morning, got slammed. Things were down a lot. Um, and then it turned around a lot. So someone was buying. Um, yeah, Q, Q, Q. Um, didn't have as good of a day, but the spy did have a, not an amazing day, but I'm just saying that it's important technical wise because of this kind of trend line. Volume 2, a little bit larger than these days. spike on the, the on the trend line same thing here kind of here not that much volume uh, so I actually did buy some stuff today I bought a little bit of Disney I mean it fell like 7% from the all time maybe even more 8% I don't know what price I got it in but I got it in maybe 184 185 not probably 184 I got it earlier in the day I bought some EMX too like look at this if it was falling all the way down here below three bucks and two seventy five, I think I got it for like two eighty, two ninety. I I just bought I didn't buy a lot, I just bought some more shares just to add the position. Like I think it's a good buy. So that's why I did that. Extend this trend line a little bit. I mean obviously down at two sixty five is really important too, but it it was like getting there. But uh yeah, I think that was a decent price to add. Uh, let's see. I'm really debating selling some three NEM. I'm already up a good amount. We kind of have this decreasing trend line, kind of, you know, like you see the channel. It's kind of hard to see with all these price supports I have, but they're kind of important. But yeah, I already, I'm already up. I'm at 50 bucks, I think. I'm still up like 18%, so I got a pretty good gain. Uh, if I did sell it, I would just keep the cash on the sidelines right now. I am still looking to rebuy some KL back. Once I can, if the market looks right. Um, also, I still want to continually increase Disney. Hopefully, we see it back at like 160s. But realistically, I don't think so. A rocket, I'm still holding on. Kind of dumb, foolish. Once we saw this scandal on, was it Wednesday or Tuesday? I think I should just got out. That's not look. That is not a good candle you want to see. You know, it comes up to support or resistance and just gets sold off and then closes below. Wow, it opened that day. That's that's not healthy. Um, actually, Meg, I think, was down a lot, too. Like, not that much. Um, oh, nice little wick on Bitcoin. Kind of guessing that uh, 50,000, maybe, yep. Kind of uh, gold and silver doing their, doing their thing. Interesting wick though, a lot of buying at the end of the day. Or not at the end of the day, just was oh, fell in the morning, then got bought right back up. Interesting. Uh, Corsair, yeah, this um, this slipped away from me. Uh, I could go to the times. So it opened up here at like 9 o'clock. I, I don't even think I was looking at the market. 9 20, 9 30 right here. Shot up like 4 or 5% in like 10 minutes. Um, they continued higher the entire day off of that, like $30 price, off of the $30 price. That was, I really wanted the $30 entry, and it did give me, or the stock did give me the entry for a few minutes. I had to capitalize really fast. Uh, but yeah, that would have been pretty cool. Even if I got it for like 30 31 maybe, it'd be up a lot of percentage right now, but it, you know, it's not how it turned out. Uh, didn't work out like that during the day. I sh we should have been watching more closely. Uh, JDX, yeah, just tricking lower. GameStop had a pretty good good day. <laughs> Very fascinating, to be honest. Uh, I robot. Oh wait, wow! I robot did this too. Wow, I'm slacking. I was not watching this either. I mean, I was, but I wasn't watching closely. Literally, it would have been the perfect buy. It did fall. Like we said, it was up here. Fell. One ten. Man, Corsair and iRobot would have been kind of good trades. 
again, this is an interesting time because the market tickets kind of slapped in the morning last few days. So buying here does feel a little risky, but at the same time, in the grand scheme of things, in the short term to midterm, it's probably going up. Kind of everything's just going to go up, so this should probably go up as well. Um, even if it's not like priced properly, but uh, yeah. Anyway, let's see what else. So now I got some interesting stuff to talk about. Or I keep saying interesting. I need to expand my vocabulary a little bit. Right aid, R A D, fell a lot today. Twenty percent. Um, why did this fall? I don't know if you guys can see. I'll, I'll try to bring it up a little more in the little my news chart. Uh, nearly down on the base of the Sales guidance below analyst XO. Okay. Baidu down also 15%. I really want to show you guys this one though. Viacom. Or is it Viacom? V I A C. You know, this thing was literally going parabolic. Even like on a weekly chart, it's literally going parabolic. We were watching this for a while. And you know, it goes parabolic. Had a little bit of a consolidation. Boom, dude, it's down like 30, 40%, 35%, I guess. And just like that's insane. Really got to be careful with this stuff. That's kind of why, like, I'm not getting into SM energy because it can have, I mean, it's already down like 15, 20 percent. I guess 15 percent from like 20 bucks, but like, it can just have some day where it's like down a lot. Um, so just got to be careful. I don't like to buy things that are going parabolic, even if you can still make money on it, you know, it's just sometimes it's not worth it. Uh, let's see, AMC also had a pretty crazy day, TripAdvisor, um, uh, yeah, just a lot of stuff had a pretty good day, but this is all just based on, like, it, everything sold off, kind of, and then, ba and then uh, later in the day, it shot up, BLTR, might as well just look at it real quick, um, yeah, let's see, I'm just scanning for some other stuff on the different This thing took off. Jeez. Wait, this actually took off. Wow, okay. Bang took off. What is TS and oh wow. Yet yeah, all the semiconductor stuff kind of fell a lot. Yeah, Walmart. Uh, I still I'm actually debating buying more Exxon here. I don't, I know like my mind changes very often, but couple videos, I was like, nah, no Exxon, but it's already down, like, 10%. We're at this kind of s pretty big support. Uh, is it a support? Not super big. Actually, it's this is pretty big, pretty significant. Not yet. This makes me think it's actually going to fall. Right? Doesn't it look like it's... I mean, the month is... Actually, yeah, the month is over, so this monthly candle is going to be a huge 
selling wick, right? Uh, let's see if I can expand this. Just a huge selling wick, which that might give a big signal that it's probably going to come down next month. Um, I mean, it might not, but reading the wicks, that's that, that could be highly probable. And I don't think I would want to sell either here, even though I'm up a really good amount. We're up at 39. We're up 40 percent. Um, yeah, it's just one of those. Yeah, I gotta keep this no matter what. CCJ, I'm still interested in buying more. Again, if we look at this time frame, oh, it's looking kind of good, but I'm going with those, these macro views. It still kind of looks like Exxon. Got the huge wick. I, th I think we get a pullback to here. Am I willing to bet that? Yeah, I yeah, am willing to bet that. Look at a huge volume spike, two monthly candles. This month is almost over, too. That's why I just want to look at these monthlies really quick. On a big macro view, yeah, it might move higher, but if we get that pullback, hopefully we do. I would be tempted to start adding in at like 14. I'm not going to wait for like 13. Uh, just because the time frame I have, as well as for the time frame I have, I'm going to probably be holding this. I'm willing to wait, even if I miss an entry. Yeah. Actually, we haven't looked at gold in a, a big macro view in a while. I mean, to me, this still looks like um, the cup and handle. But again, the cup and handles are kind of like, eh. They're iffy with me. We had like that one pizza hut cup and handle, and that was trash. I mean, it was good for a short-term time frame, but from a longer perspective, it was really bad. Still looks pretty good, to be honest. Here we got silver. ever since interesting I mean even though I own this stuff it, yeah that's looking really good in my opinion uh, hopefully it, they increased their dividend a lot I think I forgot my dividends at it should be like 3 point something 1.48 times 4 divided by 1 
touch like the old time out, yeah. I just been slacking though. I need to get back and look at some stocks and stuff. I know Monster Hunter comes out I think tonight, so I'm super hyped to play. I know this is a stock channel, but sometimes you gotta talk about some other stuff. I'm so sad that I didn't have uh, actually yeah, literally had it at like twenty bucks. No, I think eighteen bucks I had it in this channel. This is CGC. Drop 20%, that's 20% loss. And end up doing a big boy play. Yeah, anyway. That's all I want to say. Today was definitely an important psychological day. Because of this trend line. Um, I don't know. It Like, doesn't this just look weak? You gotta break above. You know, alright, so... Actually, this is an important breakdown. Crash comes back, pushes above, kind of fades, kind of pushes above, not really. Fades, bounces up, kind of pushes above, weird looking candles. And then at a slow trek higher. Literally, actually, wow, wait every single week. And it looks, looks better like this. Let's try to get a good view on it. Like every single week, so one or one week, one skip a week, one week, skip two weeks, one, two, this is week, week. Every week, it like touches this little trend line, trades in and out of like a 3% zone, slowly treks higher. Just seems weak to me, I don't know. Even look, look at this day, look at the volume. So this day, all right, so this day we had a, a trend line touch, Light volume, light volume, kind of good volume, really bullish looking candle. Next day, kind of like a fade. Green candle, light volume, big sell, bigger volume than this big fade up. Then a very small amount of volume, maybe like three quarters of this big uh, red candle shoots above a little bit, a little bit more. And then these two days, a lot of volume, a lot, even more than this big candle day lighter volume comparison and then two fading days i don't know it just looks weak in my opinion i'm no expert though uh, do we get some retest down here i don't like to say those things because i'm usually wrong but i think i might liquid it or raise some more cash just in case this rocket mortgage trade's kind of bugging me out because it's just like empty money that it's not in something, yeah, this is kind of like bad trading habits, but that I usually don't do. It's not in something that I'm confident about, but I want to be there in case if some spike happens. So it's kind of just like a gamble, which is usually not like me, but I think this market, um, but yeah, anyway, I'm kind of just rambling now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my little stupid discussion. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I'll do an update video again in a couple of days. Probably gonna be Monday though. I'm, I'm working all this weekend, so probably not gonna look at the market tomorrow either. Uh, but yeah, have a good night, everybody. Hopefully the market's not as bloody tomorrow, but but if it is, I might be looking to pick some stuff up. I kind of want, like I like this high robot play. I kind of like it. Mo or Sarah. We had all the entries today. I just didn't take it because I wasn't looking. I wasn't fast enough. But anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good night.